All right, guys, thanks to everybody for tuning in to our May the 4th extravaganza. It may be May the 3rd, but we uh, are huge Star Wars fans, so we start May the 4th early. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> yep, we start this early, so I got my good friend Rex in with me because uh, it's time to play some Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, I have not done this in a while, so I'm terrible. He is amazing, so I generally amazing try to make sure to team up with word. him. <laughs> I am adequate, and I play a lot. That's, well, that's all I can really at say. At least, uh, yeah, at, at least you're adequate. <laughs> I'll get a, I'll get a hero like twice a match. So that, sh <laughs> you know, I get at least points. Yeah, that's probably going to be better than what I look like here in just a second. I mean, we're just staring <laughs> at this guy's face right now. This poor assault trooper who does not know what he's about to get himself <laughs> into. He's going to run directly forward and immediately get squashed, and then another person that looks exactly <laughs> like him is going to have the same thing happen. Oh, that just... Lights every fight! Yeah, the Don't first one, it loads everybody in and ran at the time that they, that they actually get, get in. Meantime, now so, only it's just a little, a little awkward at times. If you are yep. on Twitch, which I am on Twitch, if you do exclamation point, split end, in my chat, you will be able to see both of us at the same time, for those of you that are on my side of things. And if you do Split End as well, you can see Mr. Split End 89 and his YouTube channel, uh, which I believe everything will be on YouTube. Correct? Yep, we are going to be going live to that. Uh, I see a filthy stormtrooper. Uh, he's dead now. I killed him. But so am I. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, they got you. <laughs> are we in the same group? Oh, thank goodness. I really hate uh, We are in the same group, thankfully. They sometimes forget to put Man, teams that are... This. Oh, he's about to die. Okay. Right, let's get in here and defeat the Empire and all that fun jazz. Hello, my love. Oh, that ended quickly. We are streaming now. Woohoo! Thank you. I just realized we're taking on the first order, not the. We're not doing too well. Our team kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know. <laughs> well, it's not my fault. Like, well, that's I'm what I mean. second I mean, on me. the thing. <laughs> well, my my wife decided to say, "Why don't you be better? Why don't you be better?" And I was like, "I can't she, get so much she better the than I." Get good. Yeah, she got the get. She she turned into get good scrub. Oh, I'm about to die like or or not somehow. I. Uh, Kill the people that were trying to get at you. Probably. So, in honor of May Thank you. Fourth, what is your favorite Star Wars movie? My favorite Star Wars movie, yeah, or the movie that I think is the best? Your favorite. Make sure is it, the your favorite isn't always the best. Exactly. That was going to be my point. Um. For me, my favorite is Return of the Jedi, just because of like okay. the nostalgia factor. I know it's not the best Star Wars movie, Can't and I'm fine with that. But my favorite is not Attack of the Clones. No, contrary to prior uh, prior belief. My absolute like Attack of the Clones is great because of the clones and because we got Clone Wars out of it. Yes, That's Clone Wars TV opinion. show is the only good thing oh. to come out of Clone Wars Attack of the Clones. Yeah. So that's that's my favorite there. Now, my favorite Star Wars movie, admittedly, it's a bit everybody's, but Empire Strikes Back is always my favorite. Yeah. It's a good choice. Uh, I know it's okay, kind of... Yeah, I know it's one of those... Right. Oh, you're just you should be able it's, to it's see... It's legitimately my favorite. I'm, I'm coming in as Ray, so you should be able to see the, uh, the bad 
guys. Oof. I got as long as I don't die a second ago, so. Yay, we got an array. So I went and saw in game and IMAX and oh I know my that gosh. doesn't have anything to do with Star Wars, but they showed the Wars, rise dude. They showed the rise of the Jedi trailer in IMAX 3D and it looks amazing. Man. That was where my I was going with this. It looks so good. I feel I told, like if I, told, I ever uh, see anything in IMAX, it's just gonna make me sick. Because I've got motion sickness. <laughs> like I get massive oh, motion no. sickness. Oh my gosh, yeah, we're getting slaughtered, my dude. Then you definitely don't need to go to the uh, 4DX. I think I would actually do better on 4DX because then at least I'm moving at the same time. Okay, so it's, there's something going on at least at the same time? Yeah, as long as there's something going on at the same time, I think I would be okay. Wow, we're gonna lose. So how do you do in 3D movies? Are you, do you still have trouble with regular 3D? I'm okay with 3D sometimes. It. it really depends on how much is happening. So like, when Avatar came out, I was perfectly fine with Avatar. But then there are some movies that they just get a little too... excited with the 3D. Oh, okay. And that's when it gets, like, that's when I get sick. Jungle Book, yes. Okay, so something like Jungle Book would make me sick to my stomach. Oh, gotcha. Just stay in, stay in this one, we'll get... We'll get mixed around, they'll match make us yeah. automatically. Sounds good. I was number one but, yeah. on our team. Woo! I don't even want to know where I was. <laughs> you were... I was, uh, eight, I was not the bottom! <laughs> you were not the bottom, no, you were not at the bottom of... I am not too short for a stormtrooper. Which would I think be that, funny like, for you, those of you who know me in real life, because uh, I'm short. <laughs> I think it's cool that you can do multi-twitch. Which, if you're on my it's... chat, if you do exclamation point split end, you can get the multi-twitch link. Um, but I think it's super cool because then you're seeing like every aspect of it. And it's something that you don't usually see in Let's Plays, which is like everybody's... Great! Something went wrong and we're trying to find you a game. But it's pulling yep. me into your game. Okay, are you headed to as crate? As long as, yes, and I am <laughs> on the side of the first order. I don't understand what's happening. I feel like as guess, I guess as long as one of us makes it in, then it pulls the other. It's like I, it's like yeah. I have you by the hand as I'm getting sucked in. <laughs> For better or worse, he was 18th on the leaderboard. He's the Kylo! <laughs> he was Kylo Ren for um, The Last Jedi premiere. Yes, I was, and I will be Kylo Ren for the Rise of Skywalker premiere. Did they allow you to have the mask? Soldiers of the first quarter. Uh, Today yeah, they did. Uh, I the just obviously resistance. would never watch a movie the like that. That mask. This map is I mean, awesome. I have yet to play Kraid. I love this map. Then we will it is them down probably my like either my first or second favorite map. I would recommend now, you don't hang out upstairs. Mostly because okay. all the snipers come out for this map. Every sniper in the mother will come out for this map. Just to let everyone know, just because you have an elite controller does not make you any better at this. <laughs> <laughs> just because you have an elite controller does not make you elite. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> I don't want to be an assault trooper. That is dumb. But I will be a sniper just because I want to level it up. Alert. So ATM none of my teammates are alive, so I can't. Yeah, I just spawned on you. Yay! I assisted you. Or Did you, you assisted now? Me or something? That's what it said, at least. I'm trusting that this apparently works. Yeah, poke your head up. Whoa! That was a piece of a fighter. <laughs> Alright, I'm moving you up. See, did you I'm see moving that? Up. I'm moving up. 
Cover me. Ah, uh, that's our. Uh... Wee. I'm in the hole. Yeah. That was our wee. Oh, there you are. That did not go well. So I, had, I got like, the guy who was behind there. You. Yeah, thanks. I had I had people with me, and then they kind of just dipped out. And they're like, hey, "Yeah, hey, two-player hey, kill strength. Get out of combat. Get out Three. of combat." I'm ready. Okay. Oh, crap. Watch out! Identity you is classified. <laughs> you were oh, so well. close to making it so that I could actually do something. Yeah, the sad thing was just the thought I actually was doing good. Dude, this guy is about to die. That's not sound. Oh my goodness. The you must I killed him though. I killed How him. How did I eliminate I just, guy? Uh, I just got the elimination and I didn't even shoot the shot. The sad thing. Oh, that's... You're not where I was. Oh, there you are. I'm behind you now. Yeah, you're behind me now. So, explain I don't to us your reaction. Go ahead. Explain to us your reaction when Rise of Skywalker. Um. Well, I was at work, and ATM six is vulnerable. I cried in the middle of my it. office to a point where our marketing coordinator came in and thought that somebody had died. And so they were very worried about me, and I said that it wasn't anything important, it was just the new Star Wars movie, and they felt that I was a crazy person. And it's nothing new, like, they generally think I'm a crazy person anyway, but this kind of, like, was the straw that uh, we have the back. Back. Yep. Yeah. So what specifically got you about it? Got me excited, what, or what it, just like, like, yeah, was like cool. any, any of it really? Um, well, I think that the biggest parts were mostly the nostalgic parts. So like seeing Leia obviously was a big part of it. Um, having uh, Lando flying the Falcon again, that was pretty cool. Oh man, pretty that, cool. Was such, that was such a great part. Um, I think the... Just the fact that it started like the um, the Phantom Menace trailer did, where it had the every every story has a legend thing, and it was literally the beginning of the Phantom Menace trailer, and they were just doing a callback to it. And I thought that it was super classy of them to do that. So it starts and ends with that kind of like mentality. And. Uh, it was just a lot of that. It was a lot of the excitement Backup for the fact requested. that it was. It is the last one. And for all intents and purposes, mark. like whether you liked the last Jedi or not, like Do that was that was a big part of it. An and yeah. that's the thing a lot of people don't realize. This is over. Like the Skywalker is saga is Unidentified done. Resistance commander and on you know, for better or worse, it'll end with this one and with J.J. Abrams and. Hopefully, unlike with Lost, he can actually finish the story and not leave everybody unsatisfied and purgatory. Hanging. Yeah, it, oh, it, crap. that was what I kept behind. telling people, was that if Episode 9 can leave me as excited and like ATM feeling good about down. it as Resistance Endgame did, underway. I will Intervene feel very good about 9. But what yeah. I have a feeling is that J.J. Abrams won't be able to finish it in a way that's satisfying, and it'll be like either it'll be a cliffhanger for some other thing that they're gonna do, like a TV show or something, or it'll be which I really uh, hope not, because that would be a terrible cop out. Yeah, I think so as well. But I mean, you never know with Disney. That's kind of what they did with Endgame. I don't want to do any spoilers, but they kind of did that with Endgame, making specific characters relevant just so that they can do the the TV show about them. The way I feel about Endgame, though, the difference was was that we got, we did get, and 
once again, like you said, not too many spoilers here, but we at least ATM it at least felt like the approach. it felt like they got their deserved spot. The people did get the spotlight that deserved yeah. it, even when they did get even when it came to their end. Um, I agree. The big thing is, I mean, can you do like that I with said, Star Wars, considering an entire saga? Yeah, that's that's the biggest thing is. It's not just 11 years, which was amazing for Marvel to do with all the movies that they had. This is 40 years of content. And, and 40, it's not near like, the amount of movies and coming off of something that not everybody exactly. cared for. Exactly. It's, it's also something that I think spans more generations. I think that definitely Marvel missed out on the whole family aspect of it. I think that Marvel definitely chose its audience specifically. Yep, yeah, they did a very good job with that. But I think that it comes down to the fact that it this is Crap, such thanks, a big deal for so many generations of fans. And you have to be careful when you're doing that to respect the fact that yes, it is a children's movie. Because that's what Star Wars has always been. But you have to respect the fact that there were generations of people that are the same age as as Luke and Leia were. And you have yep. to keep that in mind when doing all this, you know? Yep. So what are your immediate thoughts when it comes to uh, Palpatine and his his laugh at the end? I think it's really think funny that there's back? a lot. Of, I don't know. I think that if if they're back, if he's back, like literally back, then they're gonna try to do the the storyline that was in Legends, which was a great storyline, but it's forward. kind. You're gonna really have to mess with it because Luke was such a big part of that story arc. Um, yep. but I think the biggest. The biggest thing that I worry about is it's something that I actually I just read about it more in depth because I didn't know if it was real or not. But um, during the Clone Wars series, Captain Dave Filoni and George Lucas actually had zone. a scene during the son and daughter episodes that was supposed mm -hmm. to have uh, Darth Bane and Darth Revan speaking to the sun about what the dark side was and that Anakin was the chosen one and whoever controlled Anakin controlled the force, right? But then after they had animated everything, George Lucas called Dave Filoni and said, hey, I don't think we should do that because then that shows that the dark side can also, show, can also transport themselves through like the Force, like Yoda and Obi Wan and and Qui Gon, or in uh, Anakin, film. and he didn't feel comfortable so making a that ghost idea. Yeah, he said that he really didn't want the dark side to be able to do that. He wanted them to kind of be stuck where their body was. That that was the the extent of them being able to leave their body after death. And I think that if Palpatine is not if Palpatine is a Force ghost, um, then I think that kind of goes against everything George wanted. And whether we like it or not, as fans, a lot of the stuff that they're doing was all kind of what George was going to do anyway until he let other people have control of it. Yeah, I am very much on that side of it's like, you guys do realize, like, as much as you're complaining, a lot of this is what George probably would have done. Yeah. And like I'm fine with that. I don't. I I really I like Kylo. I like Rey, and I don't have a problem with the way that they they did things with Luke, like everybody else apparently does. Hey, no! I think the biggest thing that I want out Seizing of Nine is simply closure. Conclusion. In a way that is yeah, it's it's a it's a realistic. As realistic as Star Wars can be, conclusion to a 40-year-old story that was originally meant to be a soap opera, like a space soap opera. Ooh, there's a fox. And 
the Voltex. Sorry, I got this. I got this. I got this. Securing the mine hangar. We are doing feel a really lot better right now that I was shooting a Wookiee. You should feel horrible about yourself for shooting a Wookiee. Grenade in You're a monster. <laughs> I don't know what to think though when it comes to Palpatine because it's like difficult to control. Maybe it's a recording that she runs across that, that Ray's gonna come across. And stuff. Yeah. I mean, Especially if they go to the death. I don't know why he'd be laughing in a recording. <laughs> It wouldn't put it past the Emperor to laugh during a recording. We driven back Watch out for Yoda others. on the right Now's side the time of the to map. Quash them completely. I think we uh, might be able to kill him. Yoda already me out. <laughs> okay. We have Lord Rin here, though. I think so that's, it looks like we are going to finally see who I'm the Knights of Rin are. Yeah, I think I'm most excited. Okay. So, this is what I said from the very beginning when the last that I first came out. Keep the resistance it, from sealing in the a lot of ways, I think Ryan Johnson force. didn't trust J.J. Abrams to finish a story. And so yeah. he made it so that, re realistically, J.J. Abrams Red only had to, to answer three questions in this new movie. Who the Knights of Ren are, what happens to the resistance, and what happens to Kylo and Rey, right? And if he can't do, do that in a three-hour movie, then, you know, don't please don't let J.J. Abrams ever do anything ever again. Do you think What's up, BX Kid? Who is the, who be this cool guy? Dude, what's up, BX Kid? How you doing, buddy? I am playing some Battlefront 2 with my YouTube friend, uh, SplitN89. BX Kid is legit one of the coolest people I have ever had the pleasure of meeting. Um, awesome. He plays a lot of different games, and like if you are having a bad day, the one person that you're like you can always count on to be super positive is is him. So, how are your games going? We just started, so we're. Uh, We've lost the first one, and we're winning this one so far. We had some technical difficulties starting out. Yeah, that was kind of fun. <laughs> Just kind of fun. Not very good. Anything new in this game been a minute since I played? Yes, there is. The Chosen One DLC came out, which was free. Um, that came with Anakin. Um, before that was Count Dooku, General Grievous, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, there's a new game type, fan of the game, there's a lot of people that are, um, but there's just, there's a lot to it, and I think they're gonna keep adding stuff to this game, thankfully. They've realized how much this game means to a lot of fans, so it's still actually still best Uh, I think so. Mostly because I like it the best. I know that a lot of people would bang the table for the new Heroes vs. Villains that are coming out being the new one, um, because they're changing the way Heroes vs. Villains is. Oh, there's Anakin. Anakin is super OP, by the way. If you guys didn't know, what would Bob Ross have been Bob Ross, I think, would have loved to find question for you since we're talking about some of this stuff um, do you do you think Palpatine has anything to do with Snoke do I think Palpatine has anything to do with Snoke no I think if anything Snoke was out to prove that he was better you just died eliminated so quickly, massacred <laughs> we're gonna lose was, in this last phase so just because of Luke and Anakin I'm gonna be real those two are the most powerful and our heroes are not um, doing what they're supposed to do. Yep. All forces. We have a our heroes to, are kind of just like walking around. Needed. Oh, we're, yeah, we're dead. An Anakin just totally, yeah. But now I can be a hero, because all of our heroes just died. Give me Boba! Yay! 
and I can't respawn on you. <laughs> I'm a rocket trooper. I don't know if that helps us at all, but... Door ceiling. We can't let the resistance escape. Oh my god. The team is lighting oh. us up. Yeah, a thermal oh floater took me out there. Annie, Annie is ridiculously OP. I'm not gonna lie. He's okay, yeah, but he's OP. Yeah, I can still be a rocket trooper. Let's see if I can blow up a console. That was upsetting. We did so well at that second one. And my third oh, one, we did. Anakin Darn it. Luke. Anakin and Luke uh, really kind of screwed us over. This war. But we may not live to see. Yeah, if you do exclamation point split end, you can see the multi twitch link, and you can see him as well. Um, GGS, you'll get the next one. Yeah, exactly. See, I'm I'm somebody in this game that like I I just love playing it, so I'm very willing to. I don't I don't care about losing games. As long as That's I'm having fun with it. need to do better with it, they gotta figure that out, because if they don't... <laughs> it's well, it's so gaming. much more enjoyable. People, people it's that so much more enjoyable can't, just to enjoy it. People that can't enjoy games are gonna destroy gaming in general. I mean, the biggest thing that yep. I can think of is... Um, with this game, yeah, launch was was rough because of how EA handled the microtransactions. But if they had just been patient and let them talk, then they would have been able yep. to say like, "Hey, we're gonna fix this. This is what." And now, if this game came, if the game came out in the condition it's in right now, right, where there isn't microtransactions, everything is by grinding and getting the stuff and all that kind of stuff, then I think this game would have been like top of the top shooter games just because of how well done it was but then yep. look at at games like days gone right where that game is absolutely beautiful the story is amazing and everybody's supporting it and everybody's like now you look at that and i don't think i've seen one negative thing about the, the game ever yep which by the way yeah. not to uh beat that you know dead horse or whatnot mm -hmm. but if you want to First look up some days gone stuff report. on my Don't youtube channel i have a Those lot of different videos talking about not it, so. yeah if you if you've not seen anybody play it uh, he does a really good job of not doing too many Here's games and, like any uh um, what are they call story spoilers yeah bx kid said well people are so quick to crap on the company so they just get the bad rap and then get screwed yeah I think I, I think EA deserves a lot of the crap that it gets, but I think that the companies that EA has purchased, like Dice, don't deserve the hate that it gets. Like Dice yep, should not. Agreed. Dice has made mistakes, obviously, like everybody else has. But when it comes down to it, it's not their fault that the game launched in the condition that it did. It's the same thing with Mass Effect Andromeda, like. It's not their fault. They ne it needed time. It really did, and that's now that's the problem with online games, like the looter shooter genre. Is every game launches pretty much without an identity, and the player base is supposed to be that identity, but you can't create an identity without your player base. So they have to take six months to a year just to figure out what they're doing. Yeah, I think that's the biggest issue with. With, the, with Anthem was that Anthem was so much yep. fun, but they couldn't figure out who their player base was. Yep, and the cool thing is, is how they've actually got, um, they've actually put a new Stronghold in. I haven't got to play it a lot recently, um, but they put nope. a new Stronghold in. They're starting to get some things figured out, it seems like. You know, hopefully I'll be able to get a second to really put some time into it. I'm gonna have to change to the specialist class of the snipe scheme because ADM assault just does not work very well. Speeders, yeah, you too. Take it out. Good. Yeah, I just think that the biggest issue that gaming faces is the fact that people are so quick to judge everything, no matter no matter what it is. You could give them the most perfect game in the world and they'd still find a way to complain about it. 
Pretty much. Well, and we've, we've talked before about how Star Wars and EA are two things that people love to hate. Yeah, I agree. And admittedly have some toxic fan bases, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I'm not saying everybody... The ex is a toxic fan base. Oh, definitely. Like, you you know... I have you, the okay, so it's the same thing... Okay, so I've Don't had this conversation with Reagan a few times, where there are, there are shows, there are movies, there are singers that... It's not that I don't like the content. It's that I don't like the fans that come along with the content. So the perfect yep. example that I have is Rick and Morty. It seems like, from all intents and purposes, I would love that show. My, my problem just is, landed. Rick and Morty fans are some of the worst fans I've ever dealt with. From the internet, from, from, any, from anything. It generally, it, they're, they're generally just some of the most toxic fans, and it really puts me from participating in in the, the show, because I'm like, well, I don't really want to have to deal with, with that group being, like, rude to people and, and harassing people at McDonald's for not having the right kind of sauce or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, like, the, the way that they treat people enemy is just landed. ridiculous, and I don't want to be part of that. And unfortunately, there are definitely some Star Wars fans that have been toxic throughout the past, especially, like, you know, harassing uh, Kelly Marie Tran off of Instagram and, and yeah, harassing... Yeah, that stuff was absolute garbage. ...harassing the guy that played Jar Jar until he almost committed suicide, like... <laughs> Oh goodness. It's See, more that stuff is unforgivable. Aw oh, crap, there's Dooku. Fans can be the worst. Yeah, fans are, are what destroy are what destroy fan bases. As stupid as that sounds, like fans that don't understand how to be fans can destroy an entire fan base because of how they treat other people. Yeah, like Reagan tells me all the time about how she wasn't able to do anything when she was younger, like, fan-wise, because she would just have people try to explain things to her like she had no idea what they were doing. The ex-kid says they had... can really do some stressing crap to people. Yeah, it's it's super terrible. Most, like, the biggest thing for me is that if you look at history, this has happened plenty of times. This is not, like Reagan just said, it's not something new. It's just because of social media, we're able to see more of it in the limelight. And stuff like the Kelly Murray Tran stuff, it sucks because, like, she doesn't deserve that. Nobody deserves that. Especially somebody that, like, she was an actress that played a role. Yeah, Kid says it definitely because people are able to say stuff without saying it to their face. I know people have to say stuff behind the computer. It, that's it. 100%. It's, it gives you a fake sense of security that you don't have to stand behind your words. It's your avatar yep. is standing behind your words. Your profile picture is standing behind your words. Whether you would actually say that to my face, I don't. I don't believe that. I don't believe somebody would walk up to me and say the nasty things that they Stop said that about ATM me. Six before it gets to the I don't think they would say that to my face. Yes, if you didn't know, my band has an album out. It's on iTunes, or on Spotify. I like that. The dudes who talk the biggest crap got fake, fake pics of somebody else. Yup. It's all. Not always. I'm there's, a Wookiee warrior some, now. They're so uh, amazing. Like. And their fans, but yeah, I agree. Speaking of anime, I just started watching like my first one, My Hero. Yikes! Uh, if you want to know, uh, if you want to know about anime, the X Kid loves anime. Um, I get a lot of crap, but I'm also doing my best to keep it honest, even if I get in trouble. Yep, Kit, 
Kid's not going to uh, sugarcoat anything. Kid, what is your favorite anime? My wife would like to know what's your favorite anime. All the animes that I've seen, I really like. I just don't really have the time to dedicate. Yeah. He says one piece, baby. Nice. I know what a lot of these things are, but because of where I work, but I don't actually. Well, yeah. I just literally ran past. Him. Okay, I ran past Luke, and then got killed by Kyle. <laughs> now, pile it on. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Ooh, Swayze just got my Hero Academia is another one. Says kid. Now I've been doing. I've actually just started watching My Hero. Can you do something and, and make it so that I can see if somebody pops up? Yeah. Can you like? Can you like make that a little bit smaller just so I can see this? I just need to see this. Fall back. Uh, we were supposed to fall back. Done. Instead, I died. Get up close and deadly. Hey, you didn't. You didn't do anything. Split will love that one. Oh, DX Kid said that uh, you would like uh, My Hero Academia. Yep, oh, I, I've definitely been enjoying it so far. I'm oh, is that what in the started? second season? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's the first one. Yeah, it's really the I first one I've ever watched. I've just had really bad control. experiences with anime, and so it makes it so it's really hard to figure out like which one I would like. Mostly because every time somebody has told me that I would like something, I usually end up watching a couple episodes, and then I get really confused, and then I stop watching it. I would, I would tell you to try my hero. It's a little bit. Um, I guess the easiest way to put it is, um, it's, it's going to be, it, especially the, ah, especially the first season. Especially the first season of my hero is very. Um, uh, can't think of it. Slow, I guess, is probably the best one way to put it. But it has a good payoff to it. And it's pretty much a anime about superheroes. I just feel like it's one of those things where... I, I, I know that I say this to people when they're trying to get into Parks and Rec or whatever. I'm like, the first season is kind of slow, but once... once Adam Scott and Rob Logue get in there, it actually becomes like, a lot of fun. And people are like, I don't want to yep. have to deal with a whole season <laughs> before I can get good episodes. And I'm like, no, they're still good episodes. It's just a lot slower pace than later episodes. You just gotta be patient. Because <laughs> you're right, like, Parks and Rec, is, it, it was almost at the I mean, beginning, like, it tried to be too much like a office. I showed you what I needed. It, it's gonna take less than that. Here, can I do it for you? Just so I. I don't need this much space. Babe. Hey, My cat escapes, and then he attacks my television. First order <laughs> capture squad about to take the hangar. He's really uh, bad about it too. Like he hangar. will, he will straight up attack the television. I don't know. Do I want to help the team, or do I? I need to help the team. I really want to level up Lando, but I don't want to like screw everybody over. I don't even know where I'm going right now. These maps are incredible because of how big they are. Well, that's dice in general. Yep. Hey, right, you guys ready to we see some baddies? To if we're gonna get out of here. Keep the power generators running so we can get those shield doors closed. In the words of Anakin Skywalker, this is where the fun begins. Of course, I ran the opposite direction of defending. It might be better if I came, you know, towards the action. Maybe. Maybe just maybe. Oh no, Kylo. Hey, 
say I killed somebody. Boba's down. I need to try to... He immediately, like literally as soon as you let him out, he immediately attacked the television. Enemy reinforcements, I don't like this. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh, oh. Monk, thank you so much for that post. Welcome to everybody from Monk's stream. Actually, May 4th today. It's May 4th for you already? Congratulations. Ray, is it Skywalker it's confirmed? May, it's it's always... Uh, I, I would say it's always May 4th somewhere, but I know that is not correct logic. Well, I've, I've met a lot of people that are uh, in the Star Wars Battlefront 2 community that are from Australia. So a large oh, that's portion awesome. of like, people that I've been hanging out with on Twitch have been from Australia. And so, yeah, so it really it's is just, it, it, it is really May 4th for them, so. Generated disabled. <laughs> Let's hope we don't lose the life. Oh, well. But how, how is everybody from Monklington stream? If uh, you guys don't know, I'm currently streaming with SplitN89. He's a YouTube star. Uh, he does everything from uh, little skits where he brings in guest stars like Prison Mike. Or uh, he does different uh, you know reviews of new Let's games. Go. He just did an awesome review for Days Gone. Uh, so if you are interested in playing that game and you haven't yet, well, thanks so much for the host monk. And uh, also, I'm part of the Fellowship fan. And uh, if you do Exclamation Point Fellowship, you can see uh, links for Sergeant Delta as well as. But uh, thank you guys for coming. Yeah, if anything pops up in that left side. Oh, show. Stop them from blasting that last generator. We've lost. Wow. How did we got slaughtered? First order one, but we sure gave How embarrassing! Just a little I have bit. 15 people in here, and I'm mortified that we lost. It's all to my be fault. fair. I'm in the top five, so I don't, I don't care. It's fine. I got to 14. I was 18, so <laughs> you you are you are slowly but surely moving up, Dave. <laughs> You are slowly but surely moving up. We're getting there, we're getting there. <laughs> it's working! It's working! Yum. My loving wife bought me Panera. Uh, Medge. Joda is saying loser! No. For me losing. Oh, come on. Well. Oh, that's what I gotta do. I can only do what I can do. My back is only so strong. I can't carry everybody. <laughs> I can only carry so many people before my back breaks. I was trying to figure out why I didn't have that. And then didn't I have realized what? My Twitch Prime was not there yet, uh, still. So oh. I got that fixed. What do you mean? I is back. Oh, something is wrong with my again. area. Are you? It's not popped yep. up. So now I got my now I got my emote again. Uh, oh, look at that Ray hype. How are you two? We're doing great. And Reagan's over here as well. I don't know. Can they see you? I don't know if you can you see can you see Reagan? Oh my gosh, I got kicked out of the group, Dave. <laughs> what group? Our group. I got kicked out. Back out. Are you in a game already? Uh. Yeah, you're in a game. You need to back out yeah. so that we can play something. Okay. My neck, my back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what? All right, we're going to do some heroes versus villains because people like that. So we'll do some of that. Yes. Hopefully it'll actually let us do it. They won't kill me again. <laughs> they won't kill me if I'm playing Chewbacca. <laughs> we'll go for the sympathy. Joda, the thank sympathy you so much kills. for popping in. I appreciate you stopping by. 
Oh! Something went wrong. Did something go wrong? Yeah. Because I'm going to Starkiller yeah. Base, apparently. Are you? Because it kicked me out. <laughs> that's what it says. <laughs> it popped up. Starkiller Base Wonderful. Command Center. Are you still going to back? Or did it put you back in the Well, I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get to a point where I can uh, go back to the menu. Because right now it says that you're not in anything. Yeah, oh. this is like I'm I'm okay, stuck I'm joining right now you now. The menu. Okay, so we're good. Um, nope, because it's still giving me the error code. Because this game okay. hates me. Apparently, this game only wants us to play for yes, an hour because it basically needed... told us. Oh, I'm placed in a queue. Crap! I've been placed I just in a quit. queue. <laughs> Jump out! Oh. Don't be in the queue. <laughs> I'm in the queue now. Well, I'm headed to Star Killer Base, Dave. <laughs> yeah, and I just left Star Killer Base. Oh my gosh! Why did you this leave is Star pretty Killer much the Base? This is pretty much the This is this is pretty much the premise for multiple Star Wars movies, where one person's there, then the other person chases them, and they just left. Like this is pretty much multiple episodes of Clone Wars. <laughs> Why did you go back to Jakku? <laughs> I just click. I'm in a queue. I'm in position one. <laughs> see if it works. Nope, it's the server full. Do you have somebody with you? Um, I can leave. Do you want me to leave? I'll leave. Yeah, I guess so. I canceled my queue so that way. Yeah, cancel your queue so you don't get put in as soon as I leave. <laughs> that would be sad. We just keep jumping, getting jumped into each other's. But watch, watch. As soon as we get in, it cuts us both out again. Yeah, that would stink. <laughs> Monk, I don't know how your stream was. How was your stream? Did you get all edumacated? Edumuncated? You like that? No. You I do. Like <laughs> Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. I'm always here for you, boo. <gasps> we got it! The community unlocked it! Go to your Princess Leia! You now have the appearance for Princess Leia. Oh, no, you have to unlock it. Go back to home. Go to your crates. The princess is available! Is it? Because it's not showing that <laughs> on my side. But... Oh, now it is. Or not? Or yes? Yeah! She looks super bald. I apparently have all kinds of crates that I have not opened. Unlock your princess crate so that if you play as Princess Leia, you can be the princess. See, mine doesn't show up. Mine says that we have earned 3,999... Or 3,999,130. That's what I'm apparently Well, showing. mine is currently being activated, so... Yeah, you. I'm you sure that you'll it, get it so as soon as. Good. As soon as you get it. Okay, I'm searching for a new heroes versus villains now. Woo! Sounds good. So, Reagan, what, what um, final are you currently doing? What is Your study Reagan's of world religions Star Wars class? movie. Mm -hmm. But you didn't read the books. Are you headed to Tatooine, Dave? Um, I just know it says that you started a search, so I'm apparently going to be. It's probably going to do like it did for you, where it just puts you it in right as I'm out. leaving. Yeah. I do not think they're going to do Slave Leia. What is Reagan's favorite Star Wars what movie? What is Reagan's favorite Star Wars movie? The Holiday Special? Um, that sounds is her good. official... No, no, it's not that, he just said that that's that counts right. as your answer. Uh, no, it's not. It counts. That's it. He said that counts. Here, I mean, that's it. you know, if, if you say that during Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, you don't win the million dollars, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that that's your favorite. What's your favorite then? 
Are you going to join my my team, Dave? I I certainly hope so because it says you started a search and that's all I'm waiting on. Um, I would. But I can still like I, boop around right now. I would like cancel and like come back in because it's it three out of the four is is filled at this point. Return between Empire Strikes Back. Right. Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Both are good. So she's literally in between both of us there. <laughs> probably don't want to say it like that, Dave. Yep, probably not. He, he goes, well, I guess she's in between both of us, isn't she? And I said, probably shouldn't say it like that, Dave. <laughs> I did not sign up for that. Okay, I'm going to invite you to this game. Okay, considering I've, like, it says canceling. So you choose Empire because you don't like it. Yeah, I'm, on, I'm going to Tatooine I'm now. Yay! Empire is really compelling. That's disappointing. And, well, I like Return of the Jedi for the first half of it. So all the sad, depressing things are happening? Yeah. She likes sad Rogue and depressing is... things. <laughs> Rogue One is my favorite because everybody dies. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you've not seen Rogue One, you've got bigger problems and you probably shouldn't be in a Star Wars based stream. Let's be serious here. Please. Spoiler alert. I mean, I completely I completely One. agree with you there. <laughs> I, I do have like a love for how shitty they are. It's the same with Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Like it's not made He's actually for, a like, good the Peter Parker though. Like, He's just a terrible like, Spider-Man. Spider it's made for the 8-year-old that's like, "Oh my god, he did a flip. That's so cool." Yeah. Hey, uh, Dave just said he the was graphics. not he wasn't a bad Spider He wasn't a bad Peter Parker. He was just a bad Spider-Man. And I think Andrew Garfield was a really good Spider-Man but really bad Peter Parker. And I that's think Tom because Holland he was, was a hipster. Perfect. He was a hipster. <laughs> he was a hipster. <laughs> 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 That's what Andrew Garfield was. <laughs> Andrew Garfield was just a, a spider hipster. Yep. They should have just had him be an older Peter Parker. I agree. Why are you that's playing why, as that's a Finn? Why I said, that's why I liked... Dave. I don't Dave, know because I chose everything. it. Stop everything. Don't play as Finn. Okay. Thank you. I'm not playing play as Finn. Play as anybody else. <laughs> He's really bad in Heroes vs. Villains. Wow, are you, are you Ray is level 40. I don't She hate wanted the me. She, she wanted me. Uh, he wanted me to uh, pick a white person. That's what it was. No, in Heroes vs. Villains, you don't want to have more than one blaster hero unless they fly. So, like, if you have Boba and then somebody else that has a gun, then that's fine, but... Hey, look, it's me and my dad. What are you talking about? Somebody chose... Take on... Somebody chose Bosk. Bosk is really good if you know what you're doing. I'll be honest, you're pretty much a moving target, just gonna be honest here. Oh. Ah! Run, Luke, run! A moving target you that's currently taking out General Grievous. I would, I would run away. Hey Dave, you're the target. Yes. Ah! Run! I guess that they're trying to kill me then. That's my assumption. Oh, I almost got. It's been a while since uh, I've played Heroes Dooku's versus down to nothing. Villains. Dooku's down to nothing. Somebody get to him. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. We completed we a milestone. You am I still the villain? Milestone? Or am I still the no. hero? No. Unless it says. Okay, they're finding my but... targets. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played this game. Just FYI, I killed Boss and, uh, and Greedus. 
Goodness, Donald Glover, you are so powerful. Donald Glover is the most powerful. Oh, Crap. we got him. I killed the target. I got killed by proximity mines. Let's go. What a team. We're like, we're like tearing them up. Target located. We're tearing Duke to a new one. I'm the target. I'm the target. Oh no, leave me alone. I'm just trying to kill the person that you're trying to protect. Oh, kill the Dukus. I killed, I killed Duku. Yay, Dude. now I'm not That's the target lost. anymore. Incoming. Right now at least. See, that's what I generally do, is I just try to stay alive long enough that I don't, like, be the reason that we lose a point. Hey, leave some for the rest of us. Show us your right click, Darth Vader. Show us your right click. Yeah, is that, does that make you feel tough? Come. That you can Take hit up. that block button? Are you powerful because of that? <sighs> yeah, I, I got sweaty. elimination. I get sweaty in here as a villain. I ran off and found Darth Maul. He's hiding. I do, yes. Yeah. Somehow I took our I'm Darth gonna be Maul. the next target. If, if you guys wanna like hang out with I me, I kinda don't have a lightsaber. I'll come. I'll come over there. Well, or I'll just destroy Get that boss, get that boss! Well, I got like absolutely oh, destroyed get him, get him, by get him. He's done throwing a lightsaber. He's done it! Oh no! Ah, oh, did we lose? We lost the point. I had him, and then we Darth almost Maul threw me forward. I say we were about to skunk them the way we were running. Yeah. Identifying target. I'm not a target. Who's at least. Anakin is the. Uh... Oh great, Mr. Ob. Where Obi Wan? Anakin's on our team. Oh. Oh yeah. He was there person. Good guy, Darth Vader was their person. But we already oh, lost him. Okay, Anakin's decently balanced in heroes versus villains. He's just not balanced. They've He's got Darth Maul as like theirs, and I ended up in the middle of like all yep. of them. I'm the next target. I'm gonna be up here at the entrance of Java's palace if y'all wanna come up here. Darth Vader! I'll face it myself. Who is? Yoda Infinity 376, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the next video. Not ever! How you doing, buddy? I've almost got lost. I won't give up! There we got go. Him. Now I don't have to be up here in my tar. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. I'm just saying, like, Darth Maul has a lightsaber, and if you slash Leia, like, three times with the lightsaber, I think she'd be dead. That door well, is Luke just lost that fight with short. his dad. Did he fall down? What, what happened? Well, that's, like, killed by Vader Darth is Vader's coming. lightsaber. We'll do this together! Go! Get looking for Darth Maul? I do not know. I'm currently being attacked. I'm glad you're doing your channel, but I'm still sad about the death of Chewbacca. Yep, that's, that's kind of what we're Crap. celebrating as well we're, as we're trying to find tomorrow. We're celebrating the life of a cool dude that really made a lot of yes. people happy throughout his life. So, and that's the thing is like he played Chewbacca like on and off the screen Inferno because squad. in a lot of ways I recognize the markings. he acted like that towards everybody and he was just a kind person that cared about people in general which is hard to he find with actors dude. I paid crap I got Iden finally 
she was just running around, and I stunned her and then shot her in the head a bunch of times. Yeah, I got her, and then, uh, yeah, that did right not that, work. Right <laughs> Alright, now we're after Vader, it looks like, again. Go back Vader's to your mattress! There is no... I'm gonna piss this boss off ah, real bad. I'm stuck. This Iden is unhappy with the fact that I got her. What's that philosophy? What's that dude? Oh, and gee, I'm finally here. Now I can backseat play. Yeah, you're gonna see how not good I am in this game. I, like I was telling Dave earlier, I'm playing with a uh, YouTube star, Split Entity 9, if you guys want to point Split Entity, you can see his uh, thing as well as mine. Um, but I was telling him earlier, like, I just like playing this game. I'm not good at this game. I never said that I was good at this game. I just enjoy playing it. Crap. Yikes! going after me! So rude. Anakin! Finger off the trigger. Help me! I'm also getting super distracted by chat. So I'm gonna say that that's part of why I'm dying. Shh, I'm sure you're fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, not bad for Lando. I'm trying to level him up, so. Up. We've got I'm a Chewie. I heard a <laughs> yeah. I also don't play through the villains very often, so this is, yeah, I also think that they're changing this game type, correct? I'm being chased! I would love a bite of cookie later. No, no, this is it! Good job, me and goodness. What did you say before? Oh, exclamation point split end. It's in the title. Uh, that is his YouTube as well as the multi Twitch link so that you can see both of our screens at the same time. Um, Star Wars Philosophy is the Australian friend that I have made that's in the uh, Star Wars oh, Battlefront 2 community. Hi, Philosophy. And so, it's already May the 4th for him, and it's also really early, I would assume. Because when it's like 2 o'clock in the morning for him, it's 8 o'clock in the morning for me. So it must be super early for you. We just need one more kill, Dave, and we win. I got choked out, so... Phrasing! Well, considering the man stays up almost all night streaming Battlefront... He's streaming Battlefront 2 until like 3 or 4 in the morning. Uh, Yoda says, I am master of the game, but I haven't been in the last couple of weeks because I'm addicted to playing Capital Supremacy for 90 minutes. Yep. Star Wars Philosophy says, yes, happy May the 4th. And then Philosophy says, hold my beer. <laughs> yeah, he's he played, I think the longest that he played Capital Supremacy was like three and a half hours in one match. Oh, wow. Like that, those, that can take four and... Ow! Ow! Stop it! Well, they're doing a very good job at staying together, and yeah. we just need that one kill. They finally have figured this out somewhat. We just need that one kill, though. We got this. We just need them to make a dumb mistake, and we'll win. Why can't the light side of the force have some offensive powers? Uh, it's mostly the fact that we're not playing as the characters that have offensive powers. Yes! Uh, yeah, it's not that early. 1044. I got him! I got him! I'm definitely glad they fixed it and made a new map for it. They're way more... Yeah, good job, Dave. Hey, I got an achievement. You got an achievement? <laughs> of Heroes vs. You've never villains. won a match of Heroes vs. Villains? I have, but I've played it on PlayStation, remember? Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot that you played on PlayStation first. Yep. The most time I have spent actually playing this is with you, actually, on Xbox. <laughs> oh, really? Not surprised. I'm pretty cool.
Debt you is, sir. Debt you is. <laughs> Uh-oh. I hate the fact they are taking away the target system. Are they just making it so that it's just like team deathmatch then? Like you're just getting points for kills? Why didn't they just make a hero bias? Yeah, I get ya. Ooh, we're evil. I'll be Darth Maul. I want to level up Darth Maul. When I play Heroes vs. Villains, I hate playing on Jawa's Palace. Yeah, it's a weird map. You have been subscribed for a year, my dude. If you have the yeah. Ray Hype, drop the Ray Hype in there. I'll throw in some Sam Whitwer. Oh, Philosophy says hello, Miss Tano. Sweet, my. I don't know if you guys can hear her. Emo my emote, my subscriber emote is all nice and purpley, I think. Yes, I think as soon as you hit a year, you become. You have purple ray. I'm waiting for somebody to do a fin emote for me. Star nice. Wars philosophy says, I am good, Lady Tano. So, uh, Raygun, generally, when she plays, she generally plays um, the point-and-click type, type adventures, or like the choose-your-own-adventures. So we played, we played Batman, the Telltale Batman, we played Telltale Game of Thrones, we have played Detroit. And then the next one we have is, the next game you're playing is Mass Effect. You're starting Mass Effect. Well, I'm gonna take her through the whole thing. Have heard a petition nice. to burn the last jedi yep and philosophy will yep philosophy i knew it philosophy is going to be the first one to sign that stupid petition to try to burn the last jedi he hates although that movie. technically if you want to <laughs> burn so and i understand you don't have to like it but at the same point if you're burning it you are technically burning princess leia's last true word People. You you would be burning Carrie Fisher's technically last performance. True work. And I don't think you would want to. I don't think you would want to hurt her like that. Goodness. Do you want to make Mama Carrie mad? I don't. As I am killing her. Now Luke killed me. I had her. Had her on the ropes. Now, As you can, can see, um, Kylo I'm not an aimbotter, but uh, definitely the person that's playing Leia is definitely an aimbotter. And you can tell by the way that she does things that she's an aimbotter. So you guys should report her. So, okay, so I was watching Philosophy's channel, and he hosted this guy, and the guy was just really, so, like, freakishly good at the game. To a point where every single thing he did was a headshot. And so, we would ask him questions, like, wow, you're, you're really killing it. Like, how do you get so good at, like, doing headshots? And he's like, well, a lot of people say that I'm, a, an, a, that I'm an aimbotter, which means that he has a, like, peer program to help him aim. But he like points out all the people that are aimbotters and that are not him, and he's Man, like, well, everybody thinks on. that I am, but I'm not. I was def <laughs> this guy, one of the guy's names in the here is Rip T'Challa. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rip T'Challa. Um, Flossie says, good old burn that Mary Poppins out of my eyes. No! They hurt me by doing that. Hey, Blast. Blast. You enjoyed this amazing game, yes, yes. OMG Rex Tano, he is actually he's actually playing on it now in his title the other day and put the known hacker he is a legit legit. <laughs> uh how long have you been on Twitch? I personally I've been on Twitch since 2013, but I didn't start streaming until 2016. And I got affiliated in 2016 or 2007, 8, 17, late 17, I got affiliated. So I, I think I've hit my, my, uh, 14 months as an affiliate. Last wish. 
Yeah. We just hit our 200, our 200th follower. I think we're at 210 now, which is awesome. We've had a lot of people that are excited about our fifth playthrough of KOTOR. Target mark. Which makes me really sad. I'm a but... target. Quick. We're actually, do we're doing really good again. You say that now until something happens. Yes, if you didn't know, we are doing all the money that goes to um, our donation page goes to charity. We've got three different charities that we give money to. Audience of One Foundation, Empowered Youth USA, and United Way of Anderson County, which is my local United Way chapter. And um, we actually had somebody donate $25 at the last uh, Code stream, which was awesome. Um, so we are at $69.99 right now. Come on, somebody, get obese. Yeah. Oh no. Roll right now. The emperor killed. I feel terrible because they have they have Chewbacca and Leia. Two eleven. Oh, we're at two eleven. That's fantastic. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Like you guys are fantastic. Get ripped, oh, T'Challa! No. Help! 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 <laughs> I was killed. We're off. Oh. That's hilarious that he put that as his title, though. Like, you know that he's not an aimbotter because he's so showcasing that he is an aimbotter. Like, the known hacker, in quotes. Crap. Oh no! Oh no! I died. Hiding in my I corner every again. character on this except Kylo. It's hard for me to play a character who killed my favorite favor. character. Yeah, I have Kylo leveled up almost all the way, but I have Ray leveled up all the way as well, just because those are the, those were my mains when I started playing the game, and I just kept playing as them. So I just recently started playing with other characters. So that's why I'm not, not nearly as good. We're doing it again, Dave. You shouldn't have said anything. You shouldn't have said anything, Dave. Because now that you've said something, they're coming back. Yep. I uh, know. <laughs> I need to go. I need to run. They're going to kill me. I'm going to die. Alright, OB1. It looks like he's the tall guy. I know he's the target, and I'm being thrown around by Anakin. I got- I ripped T'Challa. I actually got shot by Leia, interestingly enough. <laughs> I ran oh, into we're so far ahead, we gotta good. get this. Strike at me. We got him! Oh! I killed one of the best characters good with Darth Maul and Yoda, especially now that they added Walker. Uh, yeah, I don't really know much about Yoda, but I like Darth Maul's new added block mechanic, so. I'm here for that. Not to be that guy, but. The smuggler to me. I can feel Han Solo's the target, man. I guess. It's my job. It would make the most sense. Submit to me. Did you kill him? I think I did actually, sad enough. I'm gonna be the target. <laughs> I'm taking off. Alright. You guys need to kill whoever this last guy is. Oh, it's Leia! She's right here! I've got her. There is no 
I'm running that way, I'm stuck in a random cavern right now. Oh my god, everything. they all jumped me. They all jumped me. Yeah, the, the same, same thing time. happened to me. We just that got was one so disappointing. More. That was so disappointing. Target detected. Yep. I had her. On, start. Alright, so now How it's Obi-Wan. How do I Obi -Wan. get down there? I keep getting lost. This map yeah, is just... I feel like it just opened up more because I didn't even know about that area until now. Crap. Oh my gosh. Totally the weak. You I'm the next target. Anything. Yeah, I shouldn't have. I'm running to my corner. Oh, but I think they're chasing me. Oh, no. Anakin is the target. Alright, I'm in my corner. If you guys can just get Anakin already. But I think they're chasing me, because I can see red things on my... Ah yep. No. I would not stay in one place if I were you. I'm trying not to. I'm coming. Leia's chasing me down funny enough. The Empire fell. We will not. Oh, there we yes, go. Yes, we did it! Nice win. Woo! Nice win. Victory! That's back to back, right? Yeah, two back to back wins there. That is awesome. Not bad if I do say so myself. Not at all, not at all. Rip T'Challa. <laughs> Rip T'Challa. Alrighty. Well, on that note, as awesome as this has been, I need to get dinner. <laughs> you gotta get out of here? I gotta I'm get out of here, sir. Hey, thank you so much. Can I borrow this? Oh, dude. I'm so happy we got to do this May the... Once again, it's always... If you're a Star Wars fan, it should always be May the 4th. Uh, I know I have <laughs> thoroughly enjoyed this. Um, and hopefully, especially once we can get some stuff going so that I can make sure everything's streaming correctly to YouTube from this, we can make sure and uh, be streaming in two different places at the same time. Exactly.